A fire needs a chemical reaction between three elements to live. Those three elements are oxygen, heat, and fuel. By eliminating one of these elements, you can extinguish a fire. However, there are different classes of fire that require different methods of extinguishing. There are five classifications of fire. The classifications are Class A. Class A fire is started from combustible materials like wood, paper, clothing, and plastics. Practicing good housekeeping is the best way to prevent these fires from occurring. Class B. A Class B fire is caused by flammable liquids such as gasoline, petroleum oil, and paint. They can also be started by flammable gases like propane and butane. These fires are common in areas like the engine room. Class C. This class of fires involves energized electrical equipment such as transformers, motors, and other electrical equipment. Class D. A Class D fire is when combustible metals catch fire. Aluminum, magnesium, and other metals can catch on fire. They are extremely hot and difficult to extinguish as they create their own oxygen. A special extinguishing agent must be used that interferes with the chemical reaction. Class K. Class K fires typically occur in the galley with cooking oils and greases like animal and vegetable fats. All these fires are fueled by different combustibles and often require different types of extinguishing agents. One of the most widely used extinguishers is the multi-purpose dry chemical extinguisher. This agent creates a barrier between the oxygen and the fuel. These extinguishers can be used on Class A, B, and C fires. While the dry chemical can be used on an electrical fire, it will often cause damage to electrical components and circuitry. CO2 is a better choice. Ordinary dry chemical extinguishers work by interrupting the chemical reaction and should be used only for Class B and C fires. Water and foam extinguishers are useful when fighting small Class A fires. These extinguishers and hoses take away the heat element with the water and the foam separates the oxygen from the other elements.